Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you some fun training games that I'm going to be playing with my little puppy here. I want to build his confidence with different surfaces. So I have a couple of different surfaces uh, for this little guy and he's still nameless. He's, uh, he just turned nine weeks old a, a few days ago. So um, he's not ever uh, walked onto a box. So what I can do is just sprinkle some treats on it and it's a little bit more slippery than things that he's been on. So I'm just going to feed him some treats for, for, uh, for checking out the box and he wanted to go onto it. So uh, because he was so confident, I can make sure to be holding the box still and then lure him on. So you can see his feet are sliding a little bit. So, oh, <laughs> he sat on it. Um, so I wouldn't use a box any taller than this so that they wouldn't just slide as they jumped off. So I'm going to put a treat down there to get him off the box and you can see that he's using his body to go through the environment. Woohoo! So I recently made a video called Agility for Enrichment and Fun and some of this stuff is actually from that video like the little um, this little teeter-totter and I'd actually made it for my chihuahua and then I got a surprise puppy so it's gonna be a super fun game for him to play. Now this has got metal in it so when it's on a hardwood floor it makes a noise so it's a really great confidence building exercise for a little puppy because it's going to eventually make quite a loud noise for a little puppy, but he's very confident. Um, so I can help him out by at first making it move slowly uh, when he goes over the part that tips. Good job! And he's very confident with that. It's probably because we've already been working on having him balance on a balance disc. You could also just use a couch cushion or a mattress. You don't have to buy any of this stuff. Okay, so now he's pretty confident, so I'm just going to let him uh, go onto it and let it make that noise. Get it? Awesome. So the weight is distributed so that it's always down on this side. Good boy. Woo. Awesome. And I'm feeding him so that his head is in a natural position like this, facing forward. Awesome. Great. I'm also uh, using release cues because I want him to learn to go onto different objects and wait on them. Good job. Great. Good job. I also don't want him sitting on everything because I would like him to learn to uh, stand up on things. And now for the balance disc, so I'm just going to lure him on because he's comfortable with this disc. I've had it in the area that he's staying in, his little pen area, so that he can practice uh, wobbling on it. <laughs> it's great for teaching balance and building the small muscles in their body. Um, that is great for preventing injuries. So, awesome! So now I'm going to work on teaching him to put his paws up on a platform like this. And I have a video on, uh, that I, of a training session that I worked on with him before on teaching him to follow a lure. So that's why this is so easy for him because he understands uh, the concept of getting lured onto something. Free. So I'm going to give him a treat over here and then I'm going to hold my hand up. Good. He tripped a little bit, poor guy, because he was looking up. So I didn't have a treat in my hand that time, and now I can mark and feed him a treat for staying with his feet up like that. Good job. And now I'm going to say free, free, and then reinforce him for getting off of the platform. And he's super fast <laughs> for a little guy, so uh, I have to get ready. Now I'm going to go back to just feeding him a treat for putting his feet up so he doesn't get confused. Good job. And then I'm going to say free. If he was reliably putting his little feet up, I could add a cue such as pause up. Good boy. Whoa. <laughs> so that wasn't so reliable. He thought he had to sit on it. So I'm not going to add the verbal cue yet. A lot of people ask me, when do you add the cue? And it's when you reliably see the behavior. So I would say, like, if you think the puppy is going to do it eight out of ten times, then you could probably add the cue. But for me, it would be free that you are guessing the puppy is going to do it reliably um, when you lure like that. Good job. Awesome. Awesome. 
So I can reinforce him for standing on this little platform and then I can work on going from the stand to the down by pushing the treat at a diagonal in towards him like that and then get him to stand again by either lifting the treat at an angle like, th like that or just holding the treat up here so that he stands. So I have my hand right where his face is gonna be. So if you're not sure where your dog's face is gonna be, you can get them to lay down and then hold the hand where their face used to be. <laughs> and once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to guess. Ooh, he's right on the edge. So this is a cat tunnel, and you'll see that it was featured in my uh, Agility for Enrichment and Fun video, and I'm just getting my little pup used to the tunnel by sprinkling treats through it. And it's kind of handy because it has these holes uh, in the top. Good job. Woo. So this is a great confidence building exercise because it's a creepy, crinkly thing that's moving around. So super fun and great uh, to build your dog's confidence. Good boy! Awesome. So with his remaining kibble, I'm just going to work on a little obstacle course where he goes through the tunnel, he puts his feet up on the platform. I'm going to release him. Free! Good job. And then we're going to go on to this um, little bridge of different surfaces, different surfaces. Good job. And the idea is for him to go carefully and mindfully across the different surfaces. Good job. This is really going to help his body grow, practicing balancing his coordination and also learning that all different types of surfaces are perfectly fine to walk on. Good job. Pause up. Awesome. Tunnel. Good boy. And we're done. Woohoo. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful for your training. I hope you enjoy making a little course and building your puppy's confidence with surfaces, playing games like this. And if you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel Kiko Pup by clicking the join button. See you later.